I feel like I'm so bad on top. I've had a lot of bad sex. Eat, bad throw, bad. Yeah. love life. But also if you can't, you should eat like going down on girls. Yeah, ride the wave yeah. or go and ride baby prince. Yeah. Hello honeys! Hello Ted. Ledge Huns! Yeah, Ledge Huns! Yeah. Legends! Yeah. Ledge Huns! <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then hi, my name's Imogen. And my name's Spencer. And today we're going to be doing a sex q and I was actually going to do this on my own, but yeah. I feel like it's good to get the male perspective and also just be able to talk openly in a relationship to hopefully Definitely. give you guys a bit more confidence to be able to speak openly to friends, partners, whatever. Yep. So today we're going to be doing a sex Q&A and today we're actually going to be doing a live demonstration. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that? You've outdone Your yourself looks, there. Your skin looks nice and moisturised. Yeah, ready for the sex thing. <laughs> It's an Amsterdam live show. Okay, so today we are going to be answering your questions that you sent in. I'm actually so overwhelmed and amazed that we're so open as, you know, people. And I'm so grateful that you guys sent in so many questions. Yeah, thank and you. It's actually one of my most watched stories on my Instagram about talking about sex and mm -hmm. you guys sending me in questions because actually it's something we need to talk about more openly. And I know that I have a younger audience as well. So if you shouldn't be watching this, then turn it off. Yeah, But definitely. I also think that... I'm not telling anyone to go out there and go and have sex with everyone or whatever. I mean, it's each to their own and that's your own prerogative. Yeah. But I also think that we should be talking about things that aren't spoken about enough. Yeah, to educate. To educate. And also, when I was younger, I was lucky. I had a mum that was very open, a dad that was very open. But a lot of people don't have those parents. Sure. And a lot of people don't have friends. Or a lot of people just feel like they can't talk about it because it's this taboo of sex. But I think the more open we are about it, the less people go into the unknown and want to do it even more. As a person, I think if we speak about it, it doesn't make people so, like, yeah, scared yeah, yeah, about yeah, exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. You get nervous. Like, you just, um, you just got more of an open mind about it. And also, let's be honest, we were all made from sex. Yeah. So it it's a very natural thing. Sex is the most natural thing I think you can... Big up Adam yeah. and Eve. Big up Adam and Eve. We'll start slow, we'll ease in. Okay. We've got some good ones. Okay, like it. Boyf and I have been together for two years and barely have sex. We can go months, but we love each other. What should I do? Firstly, it's amazing that you've been together two years yeah. and you've still got that love. So, um, you know, sex can be a bit like buses. They can be like all at once or none for ages. So... <laughs> you for comparing our sex life to you riding a bus. No, that, I was just saying that is like yeah. a generic thing. I get you. So, so yeah, I mean, don't put pressure mm -hmm. on yourselves to be like, oh my God, we should be having it. Our friends are having it way more. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's, it's what works for you guys. It's great that you're still in love. And, you know, when you do have sex, really enjoy it. And, you know, you just have to communicate. If you want sex more than he does, or he wants sex more than you do, it's something where... I feel like we sit down at the dinner table and the dinner table is our time for like really big discussions. Yeah, definitely. We don't watch anything. We used to watch MasterChef and stuff, but now it's just us and talking. And I yeah. feel like that is the time where I'm just like, how are you feeling? You know, and communicating is the biggest thing in a relationship. You know, my mum and dad always said that unfortunately that's something they lost later in their relationship. And that's what actually died in their relationship. Yeah. And I want to learn so much from that. And mm -hmm. I feel like that's just one thing we need so much. And if you don't want sex and you have a low sex drive then it doesn't matter like yeah. fine yeah, yeah. but talk about it be open key. yeah exactly because you don't want him to be thinking does she not want to come near me and you also don't want to be feeling the same thing and actually yeah. you're probably both literally thinking i love you i just don't want sex right now yeah it's it's everyone's different so. and a way to sort of like if you want to incorporate more sex i think like just be a bit more touchy feely with each other yeah like, you like that <laughs> like touch feel honestly i do think it's sort of like I think it actually is a fact that it like heightens like, yeah. your senses and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, we never ever go a day without being kissy or cuddly, yeah. but that's us and that's our relationship. Yeah. But that's our one of our langu love languages, like yeah. affection. affection yeah. So for us, that just keeps that communication. But honestly, please don't feel bad about it. Don't compare yourself to other people. Yeah. There are millions of people that are literally in the same boat as you, mm -hmm. and it's fine. Yeah. So yeah, ride the wave yeah. or go and ride baby prince. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> do you actually? Oh, right here. Do guys actually like going down on girls? I love this question. I like going down on my baby <laughs> princess. Baby gal. But I think that. I mean, I can't speak. I can't speak. I don't know. So I, only my wife. I like going down on. Obviously. But you do like it. Yeah, of course. And what is it about it? Um. Obviously, for me, it's to make you feel like knowing that I can do something yeah. to uh, make you feel amazing. Yeah. So, and that's the best part for I me. I think it's a big turn on for men. Okay. Like watching, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> Try not to smile. I feel like you love how I react and how it yeah, makes exactly. me feel yeah. because you feel probably empowered. And also it's like, I mean, he can't speak for every man, but yeah. if a man tells you they like going down with someone, they're not, I don't think they lie about it. Yeah. But like, obviously I, I just like you to have an orgasm for me because obviously yeah, he that's, does. that's how I, how I roll. And I feel like that's the best way actually going down. Like yeah. I think it's such a, yeah, I didn't let him do it for months because he told me, I've said this before, but he told me his sense of smell was really heightened because he's lost his hearing. And I was like, but why do you think it smells? Yeah. It doesn't, but you know, and you just worry. Oh, I love you, but yeah, that's my you. answer. Okay. So men do, it, it's completely dependent on the man. Yeah, definitely. But I think it's a level of control thing. I think it's that level of, yeah, it's like giving pleasure. Anyway. Again, if you'd like it, you just maybe communicate. It's all going to be, this like communicates where we give you key word mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in this. Uh, I think that is so much more um, intimate than sex. Yeah. Because it's so. Yeah, right. Like, I'm going to push a baby out of there. Yeah, it's like, there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's embarrassing to use lube? I'm always scared to say I need it. Okay. I think that's a really important discussion, actually. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, lube, or as known as lubrication, is important because at the end of the day, you don't want to, if you if it's a bit tight, then obviously a bit of lubrication can help. You don't want to end up with injury. But not... <laughs> I love you, you're right though, yeah. but that's such a parent thing to say, like... Well, you don't want to end up on the physio table, do you? Yeah. <laughs> but it's true, yeah. you know, if, if you are very tight, yeah. it could end up in like, I don't know, you know, I, I just think it's so important to be open about what your body needs. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine you're having sex as well, and also I think the guy yeah. actually would rather it because if you feel uncomfortable and you're not enjoying sex, then it's going to look bad on them. Yeah, exactly. So if anything, asking for lube is brilliant for them because they're going to be like, yeah, sweet. Like it's not going to be too painful for their yeah, foreskin definitely. and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And actually it also will benefit you because he'll be like, well, she obviously thinks I'm good in bed because I've used the lube and it's softer to go in. And you know, yeah. please don't be embarrassed to say it. And I think you have to be around people that you don't feel embarrassed. You shouldn't be with someone. Yeah. It's embarrassing in general. I get it. There's that whole thing. You have to open up to someone. It's hard sometimes uh -huh. to say that. I get that. I do get that. And I think it's just different people, but you should never be embarrassed to ask something for your body. It's your body and your needs. And that's so important that you put yourself obviously first. Obviously, you could use lube if you wanted to just have a, a quick one, couldn't you? Yes. Because, like, obviously, you know, you might not have time to go through the foreplay, you know. Oh, yeah, make true. Make sure the person's wet, so it's a mm -hmm. nice entry. So you could just literally use a bit of lube and just, you know... Have yeah. a quick one, but... There you go, have a quick one on Spencer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, please don't ever feel embarrassed, honestly. Yeah. I think the more we speak about it, the more hopefully other people that are watching this are like, oh, I feel that embarrassed too, and now I'm not going to feel that embarrassed because yeah, this other girl feels like that. And I think that's why it's so important to do videos like this, that you don't feel alone. Yeah. Like, you know, when I was younger, I used to feel the exact same, like, oh my God, is it weird that I, I don't know what other people's you know what's look like yeah. and i used to be like does mine look ugly and you'd think things like that it's so important to talk about the fact that we're all different and we didn't i didn't have like youtube growing up so no. like going it's almost like be educated on all of this so yeah. it's nice that you know you can just watch a video learn feel empowered and your skins you go. look amazing baby he's thank starting you. this new cream i love your eye stuff. makeup today thank you matching you know what? Okay, I'm 20 and I feel physically repulsed by any physical contact more than a hug. Is this normal? Listen, there is no yeah. such thing as normal. Yeah, exactly. We actually yeah. hate that word. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. I... What is normal? Like, explain to us what's normal. Be here all day because, like, everyone's got a different opinion, so... Yeah, like, when I was... Yeah, exactly. Like, what we might... I just don't have any perception of what normal is. I just really... Honestly, I could talk for days about this. Because yeah, exactly. for so many people, when I was younger, I was really loud and over the top. And they'd be like, that's not normal to be like that. But how do you know the way you, someone else is being yeah, is exactly. normal? You could have been like, your argument could have been, it's not normal that you're quiet. It's yeah. like, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, and it, like when I was younger, I grew up and I hated the bump in my nose, but yeah. now I love it. But I used to think that's not normal. But who says a, someone with a nose that doesn't have a bump is normal? Yeah, it's know. honestly completely yeah. just, yeah. So honestly, please don't ever think you're abnormal or anything other than normal yeah. sorry i've gone off on a tangent yeah, so, but in, in the answer to the question no like it's not a problem and then you never know you might wake up tomorrow and want to have a hug yeah like, and do you know a lot of people i've met a lot of people that actually are they they don't love sex yeah. they, they don't like it yeah. they've had it a lot they don't like it it makes them feel certain types of way and that's fine so yeah. many people feel the same way you do and i think that when i was younger and i hadn't had anything and i hadn't been intimate i did have this like 
build up of anxiety of like it's disgusting and I was all torn uh -huh. and no do and I was like oh my god it's disgusting like if anyone tried to kiss me like I would literally have the boy I fancied when I was younger yeah. want to take me out yeah. and I wouldn't go out with him in the fear that he would try and kiss me and I would be like oh I don't know how to kiss what yeah. is that like it is that fear isn't it yeah I mean because like when they they might find the right person and then we'll want to have a hug with that person. Yeah. They've maybe not ne met that person, they feel connected to yeah. that they want to hug. Yeah, and also it's completely dependent on your upbringing. Like, have you been brought up around people that, is that your belly? <laughs> oh my God, I thought, it was the, I thought it was the machine. I was like, we can hear it from up here. <laughs> but, you know, if you didn't grow up in a very loving environment, then maybe the thought of hugging, or maybe you grew up in a really overly loving environment, it was too much for you. So, yeah. you know, please just don't judge yourself. Just wait, wait it out. And if you don't like hugs, you don't like hugs. But if you maybe meet someone that you do feel that connection with, it might just, it might just flow. Absolutely. Yeah. Next question. Great answer, Mills. Okay, the next question is, I'm 25 and I've never had an orgasm. Help, is that normal? Definitely. Yeah, completely normal. Like, I'm 27, nearly 28, yeah. very nearly 28. Yeah. And I feel like, that's something that I've only actually really started to realise since being in a relationship where I feel more comfortable to talk yeah. about things like that. Definitely. Like for men, they finish, they have their orgasm. It's like a yeah. lot easier for a man. And well, what I think as well, like girls will talk to girls about sex and boys will talk to boys about yeah. sex. But when it comes to like being in a relationship, True. people don't talk about Yeah, that. exactly. And I think it's about that communication, but also it's about knowing your body. I genuinely believe since using sex toys, being more open about it, I know where my pleasure spots are. I was lucky. We were very lucky. We had a very good connection early on. We experienced things like that quite quickly when we were when we started having sex. Yeah. But it, it's completely different with other people's compatibility with your bodies and shapes of willies and things like that. Let's yeah, be exactly honest, like where it goes and stuff. What people want and what people are comfortable with. Exactly. So genuinely, I cannot express to you enough how important it is to know your own body. And it's so normal to be 25 and not have had yeah. that. So people are like 40. And I think the way we're living now is so amazing because we're more open about it. Yeah. So we speak more openly about the female orgasm before it used to be so dominated by yeah. men's sex. It's true. And you don't need to put an age on it, a number. No. Like you don't need to, it doesn't matter. Like when, exactly. you, when the time's right for your body, you will have an orgasm. Yeah, exactly. And also when your body, you know where the man or woman or whatever should hit. Yeah. I feel like it just makes it so much better. Speaking of which, it's very important that you take your own pleasure into your own hands and that brings me on to my amazing friend here the Lelo Sealer. So you guys know that I've worked with Lelo a couple of times now and I absolutely love Lelo. I genuinely believe they are yeah. the high-end premium of sex toys but they genuinely have changed the game. Definitely. Not just for me but for us because yeah. Spencer's always holding off for me to have my orgasm and True. which is very selfless and amazing but it means that now we know how to reach it even more. And this little baby is a amazing, soft, gentle, clitoral stimulator. And when I mean, it builds up to the point where he even knows like sex has changed. Like during sex, there's this ultimate build up where I feel like because of this, because it's stimulating my clit and it's just giving me such amazing build up of yeah. this slow tension, mm -hmm. I actually feel like not only does it enhance the orgasm even more, but the build up is actually just as good as the orgasm. Absolutely. And it allows me to get involved as well. True, exactly. And like, I can just take control and just, yeah. And she's I so love cute. It. Like, how yeah, cute is it's she? Brilliant. She's so gorgeous. I actually matched my eye makeup to my sex toy today. <laughs> Spencer can get involved or you know you don't have to have anyone you just have yourself yeah. but it just means that you can have clitoral stimulation while you're having penetration and the two work together and it's like a boom Wham, bam. yeah and I think we need to take into consideration more about slow sex like for me you know slow sex isn't that whole romantic romantic like oh god like let's make yeah, love no, because yeah. there are times when you just want to have yeah, sure. sex uh -huh. and for me, it's about slow sex of that build up. And this is exactly what that does yeah. to be aware of my body and how it feels. And it actually doesn't just go onto one part of the clit. It literally sucks and gives you amazing stimulation through the whole area by sending pulses, which just let me tell you. Foreplay doesn't need to be rushed. No. Like foreplay is not about like, you know, warming up for kickoff. Yeah. Like it actually is part of the whole process. So like. And when it's involved in sex, it's even better. Yeah, exactly. But again, this is waterproof and you know, all good stuff happens in the bath and the shower, ladies, let me tell you. There's eight different settings, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it, stop. I shouldn't make noises when I'm showing you. Eight different simulations. You can turn it down. Oh my God, look what it's doing. Can you see what goes in there? 
yeah so yeah i'll leave a link in the description but we absolutely love lelo i love everything they champion as a brand so absolutely love. you love them i love them so yeah. like it's just it's it's great for all parties yeah i feel like we've got even more connected now we are just so intertwined because sex is the most let's be honest yeah it's, it's the closest you can ever be to anyone so to be that intertwined and you know interlocked and also spencer can be downstairs watching the football and i can be loving my life up here absolutely you goals know? for you goals for me <laughs> yeah. but like if you want to integrate it into your sex life like just talk about it communicate like don't feel like oh my god how am i going to tell my yeah. partner about this just be like you know i've seen this and i i want to give it a go just be open and honest and honestly think that's the best way you can get this into your i sex agree because i think we live in a society now where it's so much more acceptable when i was younger i mean i I'm lucky I had an open parents, but the thought of talking about, you know, stimulating myself and pleasure for myself, it wasn't spoken about no. like it is now. And no. I think it's amazing, like power to us women that it's yes. being championed like that. Power to us, like she, her, power to us, yeah. they, whatever you are. Yeah. Power to us, like that we're now being able to champion our own voice and talk about our own sexual wellness and sexual awareness. I agree. So yeah, next question. Awesome. Can you? Yes. Puppy loves. I don't have the strongest gag reflex, but do men really care about deep throating? Over to me again, then. Go on, then. I mean, I, I personally, I just, I don't know. I having a blow job, you know, it's just, that is very good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I've done it absolutely. Oh my god. But. I'm glad you think it's very good. Thank yeah, but you. like, it doesn't need to be so far at the back of your throat that, <laughs> you know, it's just ridiculous. It's like, you know, if, you, if they want... He, to... No, that's, but I think that's because you like the tip. You yeah. like the tip. Yeah. Some men do really like yeah, deep okay, throat. Fair. You don't mind a bit of it. Yeah. Let's be honest. You've, if, you've pushed the head. Yeah, definitely. You know. But like, if it's that far, why don't you just put it in the vagina? In the vagina. Then it's covered, isn't it? In the vagina. Yeah. In not just your vagina, the vagina. The vagina. So when you go on delivery. <laughs> vagina. But no, but like... So, uh, I agree with what you're saying because yeah. I think if someone... Let's be honest. Is it really attractive if someone's literally gagging all over you because no, they don't no. have... Like, let's be honest. I think personally a guy would rather not have that and you can play with other things around it. His balls, yeah. you can play with the tip and all those other things yeah. and it make it enjoyable because if you don't have a strong gag reflex, what is he going to want? you literally gagging on him. Oh, like a man wouldn't want that. I don't think unless they're into that. I don't know. But I really believe that you can make a blowjob and all those other things. You don't have to do that if you don't want to and you can't. You know, I mean, if boot, was on, the, boot was on the other foot. He wouldn't do it. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I don't, I don't, don't feel bad if your gag reflex is not that good. Yeah, no. Those... Some people, when they brush their teeth, it's really hard. And, yeah. you know, there's so many other things you can do together and whatever. Exactly. And honestly, I just, if, if if a man likes it and you can do it, go for it. Like, yeah. you deep Fair throat, yeah. love life. But also, if you can't, yeah. don't waste your time on a, yeah. you know, like, no. So don't worry. You wouldn't eat something that made you feel like you are going to feel sick, would no. you? No, exactly. Moving the door, aren't we? Oh, I didn't mean <laughs> <laughs> people always scare me and say you don't have much sex when you're married is that correct incorrect in our marriage in our marriage yes, yes. we can't speak for every single person in their marriage but i think it's very much an old not an old yeah, wise tale yeah, but it's like, like that isn't it yeah because i think we live in a generation now where unfortunately it's quite sad but it's true but it's also not massively true mm -hmm. but people don't stay together as long as they used to you know people used oh, to like no. your nan and granddad people would meet when they were like 16 you know my parents met when they were 15 and they stayed together for a very long time but yeah. unfortunately now it's a bit of a disposable generation isn't it it is yeah. there are still so many amazing yeah. people that want to stay together forever and don't, please don't ever think that we're saying yeah everyone breaks up yeah but what i'm saying is that i think people associated that with people that have been with each other for 60 years because actually if anything when we got married we were even more Closer. comfortable yeah. and like closer more intimate like i feel like marriage took me and you to another level which yeah, i definitely. didn't think we we could even get to i thought we were like at the top peak yeah yeah and then we got married and i just feel like we're just going for the gears weren't we yeah and i feel like we're now like just one person yeah. obviously we have our own individual you know yeah. times and whatever we're not one person in that sense but yeah. i feel like connection wise yeah when it comes to you like are definitely being... my other half yeah definitely you're yeah. my better half you're my better half I sweetness you. i love you but sorry <laughs> we did a live the other day on tiktok with eden and we were just too much yeah but it's just us yeah it's us but she was like you're so pure and that's just your love and that that is just us sorry yeah but please don't think that keep your 
marriage alive you know make sure you're touching each other joe wicks said the other day that he him and rosie never ever ever stop kissing each other because yeah. if you i feel like you know in a relationship although some people just work differently you, yeah, can't, definitely. you just can't say that because some people just don't kiss and then they can have the most amazing sex and but as long as you're doing what's right for your marriage yeah. then there's no reason for it to stop after you get married and communicate 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 there's sometimes yeah. where he doesn't want it and i'm like okay that's fine like yeah. you know i'm not going to put it on you if you don't want it yeah. and then sometimes i don't want it and i'm like baby sorry like yeah he'll be rubbing me love and life and i'll be like i just today it's you know those days where you just feel uncomfortable yeah. in your body or something like that and that's yeah, fine which is fair. yeah exactly yeah and someone's not going to push you and be like make you do something that you don't want to do because then they're not going to enjoy it exactly yeah so just please don't ever think that that's a true fiction i just don't think it is i yeah, think it's, it's not completely different people you can be in a relationship that you're not married and your sex dies yeah so yeah how do you have sex if you're insecure of how you look how do you have sex if you're insecure? Asking Pop is probably not the right one because you're not very insecure. He's not arrogant, but you don't have many insecurities, do you? I don't because I don't really worry that much, to be yeah. honest. So I don't really... If you're insecure... Which is amazing. I, mean, I think that's yes, amazing. If you're insecure, I mean, just be open and honest with your partner and say that you feel a little bit like that. I mean, just... You know, I think you've got to talk. You cannot just be insecure in yourself and not share it with the person that you're having sex with. I also think, please don't take my advice completely, but I also think, you know, I have insecurities, I'm insecure. But I feel like my whole life, I've literally faked it till I make it. Like, I yeah. will go into a room and inside I'm trembling, I'm so anxious. I literally feel like I'm mm. going to throw up and yeah. I will go into that room and be like, hello, everyone, how is everyone today? Yeah. And I feel like I can switch that on. And that is yeah. what I, that's one of my strengths and maybe a weakness. Yeah, but I honestly think the more confident you, you are and you tell yourself, the sexier you are mm -hmm. like a woman who knows her body whatever you have on your body lumps bumps marks whatever you have on your body you are beautiful you are perfect yeah. i am obsessed with women aren't i i yeah, think women yeah. are just incredible definitely i just think they are so incredible and honestly yeah. Everyone has insecurities. You can still have sex. Trust yeah. me, you are amazing. You will enjoy sex so much more as well if you tell yourself you're amazing. Yeah, you just have own to own your insecurities. Yeah. yeah, and love yourself. I know it's hard because we all have insecurities, and there's parts of myself and my, you know, in my personality and my my body and all those things, my mm -hmm. face, whatever yeah. that I don't love. But I'm owning them because they're me, and I'm not gonna, you know, there's just no point in thinking overly about them. Did they say insecurities to have sex or they were having sex? No, I think they're insecure, but they feel like they can't have sex because they're insecure of maybe But like how if someone they are. wants to have sex with you, that should tell you that exactly. you don't need to be insecure because someone is thinking, oh my God, I want to get down with this person. Because you're oh. amazing. Spit, love yeah. that. Love it. <laughs> sex video. <laughs> yeah, love that. Baby. You are amazing. You need to tell yourself that. You need to look in the mirror and go, do you know what? I'm going to go to own this. Yeah. And he will be like, whoa, yeah. like go girl. And yeah. also... It's okay to be insecure, even if yeah. you say, even if you don't go in and go, whoa, you know, whatever. Yeah. If you're timid and more shy in the bedroom, that can be a real turn on for other people. Like, mm. you are just you, and yeah. you are beautiful the way you are. Yeah. Own that and be yourself. Absolutely. Yes. Good okay. answer. Never change for someone, especially no. not a man. No. Or a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Is it normal to have a low sex drive? Yes. Yes, it is. For so many people, it's again not. There's no normal, whatever, but. I've been through stages of my life when I came out of hospital and I was on certain medication and I went to the doctor and I was like, I went to the doctor, I never forget it, an angel. And I sat with her and I was like, I'm not with anyone, but I don't have any desire to ever have sex. I said, it physically makes me feel sick to think of okay. having sex. Yeah. And she was like, spoke to me all about how the things I'm on can really, really reduce my sex drive. And right. she was like, do you know how you know, it's so warming that you've come here to tell me you don't feel like you want to have sex. And you know, there are things you can, there's people you can talk to the doctor, there's people you can talk to online, but also yeah. just know that it's okay. Like we don't all, we're not all one body fits all. Like no. my dad always says, you know, for the pill, the, the um, contraceptive pill, I might use a skincare product that you guys might react to and be like, hate it but my skin likes it. I might like a pill that you guys don't like. That's the yeah, thing, yeah, it's yeah. completely different. And there are so many like things that can affect a woman's um, sex drive, like her hormones, her self-esteem, how she, hormones yeah, exactly. are a yeah. massive right, effect no, on no, it. Yeah. Um, but don't feel abnormal, like sweet. Like when you do have some sex drive, yeah. you go and love your life, baby girl. Mm -hmm. Get out of your system and then you don't, you honestly don't have to overthink it and over worry about it because whoever you're with and compatible with, then... Exactly, will understand. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if they don't understand, then sorry, you're out because that's, yeah. that's not something. No, that's not nice, is it? No. So, yeah. I feel like I'm so bad on top. Do you want to answer this? 
yeah, I feel like, I think you're probably overthinking it and probably going, oh, I'm bad. And I think we all do that. I think everyone does that, you know, yeah. like, especially when you're first starting having sex or like you haven't been in a long-term relationship or maybe you've got comfortable in a long-term relationship. I feel like the best advice I can give you is, again, own it, be confident in your yeah. body, get into that rhythm. Was that a train? No, garbage. garbage. Oh, gosh, I thought it was a train going, shh, shh, yeah. you know? But honestly, own your body, feel comfortable, feel confident, and just ride it like an absolute G. Watch a few Wild Wild West videos. Oh mm -hmm. my God, no. But honestly, yeah. you're probably overthinking it. No one's like, you know, even if you are not great, then practice makes perfect and you'll get better as time goes on. And if I'm totally honest, blokes don't really know what what's to right do what's when, wrong. when, I mean, I've been, Mills has been on top before mm -hmm. and I've been trying to do stuff like, oh my god, yeah, and we've yeah. gone out of sync. Yeah, out of sync. And I've been like, just oh, like, just, just lay there and, and let, let me, me do, do it. it. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes the boy is could potentially be doing something that is affecting your rhythm to just make sure he's buckled in and, he and also the ride. I've had a lot of bad sex you know and that's me being completely honest and I now am in a relationship where we are so compatible and comfortable and you know it, I'm 27 it wasn't like I was however old 18 or whatever uh -huh. and lost my virginity and was like yeah having the time of my life it doesn't work like that like uh -huh. It doesn't work like that. It might work like that for some people, but for me, it's about practice with the person you're with. You know, obviously not going out and sitting on every Tom, Dick and Harry unless you want to but, yeah, and be yeah. safe and be protected. Absolutely. But, you know, I'm not judging anyone for that. But for me, it was about, I actually feel like I'm the best in bed now than I've ever been yeah. because I feel like I know what you like. We know what we like. Yeah. And I feel so comfortable. We're so close. Yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. I've never, I've never felt like this in no. a relationship ever. No. Oh, don't make me cry. <laughs> so please just understand that you just keep going baby girl like you're amazing yeah. don't don't overthink it either just go yeah. with it get a rhythm and sometimes yeah. maybe say to him just stop moving because it's sometimes when they move it can make it a bit like yeah like, what's going, going on now. yeah and i think slow and steady and sensual wins the race sometimes exactly like the build up and then just yeah. vary the momentum oh. vary the tempo is it normal to masturbate Last question, yes. yes. Of course, of it, course is. it is. It is, I mean, normal, whatever. I don't really care for that yeah, word. Yeah, it yeah. is very, very common, very You're going to get to know to your own body, don't you, as well? So what, what's good for you? So, you know, whether you be single, whether you be in a relationship, yeah. you need to, you want to know your own body. So obviously, like, that's what we said about um, Lelo, the toy. Like, if you want to use that, then you get to know your body. You know yeah. what makes you climax, makes you orgasm. Yeah, it's so true. I think it's so important. I think also think it helps you build even more of a sex drive for me. Like, and I also think it's, we were watching Ginny and Georgia. We absolutely loved it. We've watched it. We've sessioned it. And I love the fact that in yeah. that series, they brought up a lot of topics. I didn't like the fact that they said that thing about Taylor Swift and loads of yeah, men. Yeah, I thought yeah. that's not really, that's dragging a yeah, woman down. Fair, we're yeah. meant to be championing women. But... The series, I think, covers so many amazing topics that we haven't covered for a long time and that we're yeah. really open about now. And it talks about masturbation. And, you know, maybe that's something they'll speak about longer and over time. But yeah. it is normal for... All this stuff doesn't need to be over-sexualised. It should just be yeah. like, you know... Your just body. Part of day-to-day -day life, yeah. you know? <clears throat> People do masturbate, so... What's Master. It? I'm never going to say it correctly. Master of the house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I do genuinely believe that it's something we talk about more because when I was younger, it was something which I could never say to my friends, like, do yeah. you play with yourself? Never. Yeah. Because they'd be like, ugh. Or, and even though they'd probably be doing it themselves, you know, whatever. Yeah, so I'm 30 now, so I'm at an age where I was probably in a generation where it wasn't really talked about that much. Yeah. But like, if you're like, you know, 10 years below me now, like the difference between mm -hmm. how much has been spoke about, is just massively different. Yeah, it is. It is definitely very acceptable. Yes. Uh, whatever, it's not acceptable. Yeah. It's, I don't want to say normal, but I'm going to say it. It's yeah. very normal. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Last I time. Yeah. Okay. I really enjoy doing these videos. And I really yeah, enjoy having good. you to be able to share your perspective and also show from, you know, yeah, well, a I, relationship perspective. Yeah, because we can, we've obviously been single. We're now yeah. married. So yeah. we, and we've been in other relationships. Yeah. So we know, diff we know all the different layers. We know all the different scenarios. So yeah. we, you know, it's quite helpful really. Yeah, I think it's just really nice to be able to talk to you guys and share our stories and hope that you guys sharing your stories with us makes everyone else feel less alone. Yeah. So yeah, if you want if us you, to do any more like this. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing. Yes, please. We, we, we um, love it. We love that. Yes. So yes. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. Bye. Bye everybody.